All right, I have 13 videos sitting on my console, and it's a little ridiculous. So I'm going to have to hurry because I am running out of space and time. I really want to do the next two parts, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Not only that, but they're not even opened up yet. Because um, this is... This is Kenichi's. Parts 1 and 2 are open, but part 3 isn't, see? Same thing for Kachina's. Part 1 and 2 are openable, but part 3 isn't. Oh my god, Kazuha, get off my fucking screen. So we're going to try to finish hers. Maybe I can start the other ones? No. Oh, it's really hot in here and I'm dying. Yeah, my videos have been stacked. I've been behind on my videos for what feels like two months now. It, it takes me like literally about several months to get everything uploaded. Everything's usually like 12, 14, 15 days behind, delayed. In the description of all my videos, usually there's a thing that says, this video is blank days old, so I've decided to upload it now. Yeah. Oh, it's so damn hot. Uncle Boo! We're, We're back. back! Yo, yo. Uh, uh Mulani. It's, it's good, good to, to see you, you again. again. I, always I always knew you'd return, return safe, safe and sound. sound. Uncle, Uncle, I've completed the journey to the mysterious island. island. I'm, I'm here, here to, to return, return the talisman. The talisman. But, but you still, still have, have a question you wish to ask, ask you, right? Yes. yes. You've, you've been, been there, there before, before haven't you? you? Yes, yes, I have. If that's, that's the case, then you've gone, gone on the same, same journey. journey. But why, why don't you tell me? Because, because I made a choice. A, a choice? Did you, you notice know that the hidden inscriptions on the stone, stone tablet disappeared as soon as you finished reading them? Oh, yeah, you're right. There's, There's a special, a special paint, paint on the statue. It would change color when it, when it comes into contact with volcanic dust. dust. Only those who have been to that underground space will be contaminated by the dust and be able to see the hidden message. But once the dust starts to wear off, the hidden inscription will disappear again. And this is the choice that the first chief left to us. If you choose to boast about your deeds, you will receive the highest honor. But the legend of the mysterious island will be destroyed as well. If you choose to remain silent, then the mysterious island will remain a legend and continue to attract the next generation of young guides to rise to the challenge. In the end, my companions and I all chose the letter. Oh, I get, I get it, it now. But not being able to tell anyone after accomplishing such a feat? People, People like Ko'olo like will still, will still look, look down on you. Are you really okay, okay with that? that? But have you noticed that Ko'olo, who claims to have been to the island, hasn't actually completed the trip? What? what? Right. Hi, hey. hey. remembers that, that Ko'olo said that he went, went to the mysterious island, island alone. But there's, there's no, no way, way he could have been able to use the spirit way. Because you need three or so people to control them. He deliberately recommended the client to find Mulani, probably because he thought she wouldn't be able to reach the mysterious island. That way, Mulan wouldn't be able to expose him. As gods, we are not adventurers, let alone treasure hunters. The greatest responsibility of a guide is to take the client to their destination safely. But in the process, we also gain much skill and experience at overcoming danger. This allows us to go to places that no one else can reach and even find treasures that no one else can find. Many guides gradually lose sight of their true beliefs and intentions in the process and end up becoming like coal. They end up becoming more like thieves who would rush to the other side of the lava lake, regardless of the consequences, rather than good guides who would turn around and save their friends. This is why the first chief left behind the legend and the map to lure younger, younger generations, generations into taking up the challenge, thereby, thereby teaching, teaching them everything he had learned. learned. Aside, Aside from me, many other tribe members have also traveled to the mysterious island. island. And, and just, just like me, they understood the first chief's intentions, intentions. so they've they also, also made pacts with their companions, companions choosing to give up the results that would prove themselves and give the younger generation the chance to continue the challenge. You've all given up on the results. Sir, I've, I've given, given up, up on nearly one result. 
I have given, given up on everything, everything. Given, given her, her talent and qualifications. Mulan was, was well within, within her rights to choose the top-ranked top guy called her as her teacher. teacher. But, but she, she chose me. me. I believe I was I able to cultivate such an outstanding student, student and, witness and witness her completion of the legendary, legendary challenge precisely because I didn't become someone like Koa. If instead of looking at one single journey, you look at my entire career as a guide, I'd say I have not returned empty-handed. What about you? Because he has that girl. Hmm. Karya? I've, come, I've up come up with a new, new research, research topic. topic. Would, you Would you like, like to continue, continue working, working as my assistant? assistant? The same as always, Veronica. You always have to find evidence before coming to a conclusion. I... In any case, I can't give you an answer right now. Come on! Because you haven't prepared the proposal yet. Shouldn't you finish that first before recruiting assistants? How could you forget? Ah, uh, yes, of course. I'll, I'll certainly, certainly prepare the necessary, necessary details. But I've always found your proposals fascinating. So I'm, I'm sure, sure I won't be able, able to turn you down, down this time, time either. Hmm. <laughs> Karya, given, given that, that I've been presented, presented with new evidence, evidence I've come up with a very general theory. theory. I can I use the, the ideas from the chief speech to express it. Perhaps the treasure I'm seeking has been by my side the entire time. time. No. no. To, to, to be, be more, more precise, precise it's, it's been, been with, with me, me even, even before, before I set out on this journey. journey. Is he going to propose to her? I understand, Rondra. It appears this guest has also found his answer. It seems he's very good to it together. There's nothing to worry about. It's just like Karya said. I can start some new research and reclaim everything I lost. But it seems he's still as stubborn as before. Now, it's your turn to make the choice, Mr. But, Uncle Liu, I'm sure anyone who can complete the journey to the island would make the same choice, right? Very good. Then there's nothing more I can teach you. Here, take this talisman again. You can pass it on to your student in the future. Looks like it's also our time to say goodbye. You've taken great care of us throughout our journey. As thanks, I'm also willing to keep the journey a secret. Then remember, the next time you come to visit the people of the Springs, you know where to find friends for help. Friends? I suppose, I suppose we are theoretically friends, friends now. now. Yes. yes. When, when I, I publish, publish my next paper, paper I'll, be I'll be sure to, sure to add you to my list of acknowledgements. Well, well, that's one way to take someone. Then the and I will be taking a leave. I truly hope we'll get to see you all again someday. Okay, bye bye! You're back already? So. As a new student, did you manage to find a mysterious island? What are you doing here all of a sudden? Well, I found something even more precious than the island. Two friends that I can trust with my life. You... <laughs> Seems you really learned a lot from new about how to make yourself feel better. I knew it. How could anyone ever reach the island with so many hindrances? Mm-hmm. <laughs> huh, what, what, why are you all looking, looking at me like, like that? that? The elders, the elders of, the of the tribe also gave, also gave me that same look. look. What's, that What's that supposed to mean? To New! I've already, I've already proven, proven that I'm stronger, stronger than you. you. I've, I've been to even, even more dangerous places and found, found far, far more, more precious, precious treasures. treasures. I've, I've even been to the mysterious, the mysterious island. island. Why do you still, still look at me as if my words don't bother you at all? Come on. Even, Even if you had you never, never been, been to the island, island no, no one would deny your abilities. abilities. But as for what we would deny about you, <laughs> only you can find the answer to that. Me? <laughs> so now, our trip to the mysterious island is officially finished, right? It's time to say goodbye. Yeah, yeah but, but I have one more place, place I want to show you. Come, come with me. me. Okay. Hold oh, on. She has, she has quite, quite a, sense a sense of ceremony. Of ceremony. I'm, I'm sure, sure she'll, she'll want to give you something, something as a memento. As a memento. I, suggest I suggest not, not keeping you waiting. 
Okay, gee, I just wanted to see if you had anything else to say. God. I love how Hazo is the only one who can make like that extra fucking leap when you're sprinting and you jump. He gets like extra ground. I did it wrong, but if he's like already running for a good decent amount and then you go to jump, it's so far. <laughs> yeah. That didn't even count, bro. <laughs> this is the place. From what I heard, if we take a group photo here, it'll bring us good luck. I'm sure of it. What do you think of taking a group photo? Well, we completed our trip to the mysterious island together, so of course we need a memento to keep. You've earned the greatest honor for a guy. Yet yeah, yeah, you can, can only walk, walk away, away with a photo of your friends. friends. You're pretty you're amazing, Mulani. You really sacrificed a lot for your tribe. Would, Would you call, call it a sacrifice? sacrifice? Mm, I, don't I don't really think, think so. so. Actually, Actually, after, after hearing Uncle Moose answer, I have this vague feeling that... After all that we've been through together, the results don't matter anymore. Oh, it's kind of hard to explain. I don't know if you get me or not. No, I get it. She spoke. You recall everything that has happened during your journey, and finally find an answer that you're satisfied with. Traveler! So that's your answer, huh? To the meaning of a journey? It's the answer I knew from the very beginning. It's the answer that I've gradually come to understand over time. It's a good, a good one. one. Then uh, let's, let's make this group photo yet another part, part of your journey. journey. Yep, yep. Three, 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 two, two one. one. Colossor! Journey begin. Right now. <laughs> I have to go find Kitty, I suppose. Ugh. Yeah. No, oh God, okay. What am I at again? 107. Bandit. Give me a seven, which should give me a blank. I need seventy something. Five. All right, let's go. I need to. Let me go over here. These are taking a while. Um, so I'm going to try to start parts 1 and 2 for both Kenichi and Kachina, but I won't be able to finish it because they're not opened up yet. Or I could always wait until they actually are opened up, but I kind of want to hurry and do them now because I'm already so backed up with videos anyway that it'll give me time to focus on editing, uh, uploading a bunch of crap, so then when it's all done I could just take a long ass break for a while. Hebede. Thank, Thank you for coming. Add Astra. Trying to. I need to recall someone. I 
wish they would put these in an app. You know, like when you go to choose characters and it has them in a grid all together? They need to put this menu like that because I hate scrolling down like this. It sucks. I don't want to be rude, but it sucks. Because then I have to fucking scroll forever before I can find a character that I actually want, and I don't like that. I really don't. I think it's kind of really shitty. Because it takes forever. I have to sit here and scroll all the way down before I find the character that I even want. Or think that I would want. It's bad. What I mean by, see how when you go to like party select? Like this? And you see how they're, see how all the characters are side, be, side by side like this? They need to make that menu like this menu. So it's easier to find the characters faster. Like, holy shit. Yeah, cause that, that's bad. It takes forever to, like, get what you want. I don't want to touch these just yet. I don't know, I hate saying it like that, but it's true. It's like, I, I've always hated that menu. And I've always complained about it, and they have not changed it. They need to fix that. It's garbage. Because, like, when I want to search for characters fast, it's like the most slowest inconvenient shit in the world. Like, it kind of, like, ruins my experience, because I'm trying to find characters fast, and I have to sit there and hold down my joystick until it even finds the character I want to find, and it's like, ugh. Cause like even this menu, this menu is like in a row where I can find shit right away. So I don't understand why that menu is so poorly designed. I have the same problem when you're inside your serenity pot looking for uh, items to build and stuff. Like the shop menu is also like that. And it's like, oh my God. convert almost half. I don't know, I don't want to be like super mean and nitpick at it, but that annoys me. And I can't pretend that it don't, because it does. It's just like slow and inconvenient. he have to say? Oh. See how much faster this is? See how all the characters are all together and I can just scroll through them quickly? See how fast this is? Like, that's what I want. That other menu sucks. Like, oh my god, it sucks. Because it's slow, it's like this, where I'm scrolling down forever. Like, I think even these menus also need to be laid out that way. That way it's easier to find shit. Look at how far I have to scroll. Ugh. 
My god! Alright, so let's go to that area. I mean, it probably seems like it's not a big deal, but it, it really annoys me, to be honest with you. Because, like, it's really slow, and when you're playing a game like this, shit shouldn't be slow. Because you have to, because what's bad about it is there's so many characters that you are scrolling forever. It's the same way, like, when you're in your Serenity Pot and you go to go buy a new item, you have to scroll forever to find it. I know they put that new menu where, like this, how you can switch things upside down, like this. You can go like this, see how it switches it upside down? See what I mean? Like the top becomes the bottom and the bottom becomes the top. I mean, I get that. But, I still feel like it should be changed. It's not a big deal. I'm not trying to say that it's super, like, wrong. I just don't like it, you know. Just being honest. I've never been one to lie about stuff that bothers me. I'm usually pretty upfront about it. If something bothers me, or if there's something I don't like, I will say it. I'm not the one to stay quiet. Alright, so we're... It's like up there, ain't it? Woo! You know what? I probably... Uh, I probably should go from here to there. Because I've been complaining about it for years, though. That's that's probably why I feel like I'm annoyed. Is because it's something I keep saying they need to do, yet it's something that remains unchanged. Also... E, she didn't take damage from that, luckily. There it is. is this an an answer, answer from the spoil? spoil? Nah, I dealt that, my sister. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> Gotta be careful or he'll get stuck on those rocks. That happened to me in one of my other videos where he got stuck on it. He was able to break that third one without ever hitting it. What the fuck? Alright, that's questionable. He didn't even touch it, but he was able to break it. ASMR moaning in my ear. Oh, luckily that missed him. Oh my freaking god. Huh? It's down. Oh, eh. Oh, there. Ah, butterflies and ah, fireflies. Are, are you here to help find the baby Sorians? Ah. And I'm Toba. You must be the helpers that we've been waiting for. I guess so. Uh, uh, it's it's nice, nice to meet you, you too, too, but... but I'm afraid we don't know anyone called that. Yeah, yeah sorry. sorry. Whatever this is about, it sounds like you've got the wrong end of the stick. Wrong end of the stick? How could you say that to a kid? Wait, we've been tricked, tricked me. me. Should have known that Glasses guy was a con artist. What are we supposed to do about the baby's story now? Time is running out. It's okay, Yumi. Don't worry. Why don't you tell us what happened with these baby stories? There's been a lot of unrest in the tribe lately, and my dad story got injured. Her name's Nana, and she has three little babies. After what happened to Nana, her babies were so scared that they ran off and hid. I'm really worried about them. So I decided to go look for them. It's Nana's your dad, Why is he the one looking for them? My dad's one of the elders, so he's busy getting ready for turn fire night. It's a really important ceremony. More important than this, anyway. 
You're not, not supposed, supposed to be, to be out, out here either. But I stuck out without, without telling them. Crawled out the window, I did. They didn't think it would take very long. But then that guy we ran into made us tell him loads of stories. And it wasted so much time. Yeah, it was so selfish. He doesn't have a heart. It's all right. Don't let him get to you. We're here now and we'll help you. Because we care a lot. Don't we, Chad? We sure do. So, uh, are they nearby? They should be. I already managed, managed to find their tracks, track, and it, and it seems, seems like they're hiding on the cliff. cliff. Leave it to Paimon and me. Shouldn't take long. Really? Wow! wow. Thank, Thank you so, so much, much, Miss Traveler and Miss Paimon. Uh, gotta, gotta be careful, careful out on the cliff, though. though. They're, they're really steep. Even grown-ups have trouble climbing them. I'm literally the reincarnation of a star who's over 500 years old. I got this. I keep saying she's a reincarnation. She's not the reincarnation. She is a star. He said that he did. Uh, yes. Let me climb this damn mountain and listen to Kazuo moan <laughs> breathe in my ear. Just love it. <laughs> I really don't. I mean, he sounds good, but I shouldn't be saying that. <laughs> no. 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 Hello. Just pick it up and put it in my pocket, you know. Fuck. He has an ASMR voice. I wonder if his voice actor is it is it Mark Whitman? Whit is it? Yeah. Uh that look on his face. <laughs> Maybe I wonder if anybody's ever told him that before. He has a really good ASMR voice and I think he would be good at it. There's a lot of people that can make a career in ASMR. There's some people that um, make money off that. And they get paid quite a bit too. I mean, you have to be successful at it though. Can he fit up through this crack? Yeah, he can. Believe it or not, there's some characters who can't fit through shit like that. Hey, I know that dragon. I did, but then again, this is Kanicha's story, so of course he has to be here. What are you doing? Not really. Yeah, you you like like up here to pay respect. The moment we saw it. <laughs> I suppose we can't blame you. Such as the spell that our majesty casts on our minions. Very well. You heathens leave us no choice. The almighty dragon lord, Kahulahau, shall bring the odds that you seek. Come, pucker up. You may now kiss our feet. Oh my freaking god. Wait, 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 wait. Can he use his sidekick? What the hell are you going on about? You still got my attention to me even more annoying the last time I met. This annoying piece of shit. Silas! Who are you called a sidekick? We are the Dragon Supreme! So I'm ruler of the nation of flame. Thanks for saying my name. We shall help you know that the last time. We're, We're not, not for Kanisha's earnest pleading on your behalf. You would have received not a single word of mercy. Oh, come on, you talking. Kanisha's really has a good lucky. Oh, great sovereign, what brings you to this mountaintop? So, little munchkin, what you doing up here? That's, That's great, great sovereign to you. You dare like the wrath of the almighty dragon lord, Kahula How. You will burn our turn by over a thousand years for your blasphemy. If you, you must, must know, our humble servant begged us beg beg to investigate an abyss incident, incident near Hoytland, and we chose to grant, grant his request. A bit incident? See this little lizard? It's a mother, mother, a medium-sized lizard, came under, under the influence of abyssal power. power. In her confusion, she attacked my servant's tribe, then assailed her own offspring. Yikes! So how is she doing now? She was but a lowly bug fighting against the power of the abyss. 
where I have not been able to catch him and he's died horribly. Wow, you're back already? already? That, was that was so fast. fast. <sighs> I'm so glad that the, the babies, babies are all right. right. Thank, Thank you both so much. much. Now, now we can, can finally go, go home and stop worrying about, about them. them. You're welcome. Pizza cake! You're not fun, right? Because your clothes look different than ours. Hey, you must be tired after all that climbing. You should come take a rest at my house. Yeah, please come. I promise, I promise you'll get, get a big, big sign on the can and welcome. We love, love having guests, guests, and you're, you're really, really nice people. people. Not, not like Glasses, glasses Guy. guy. But but I said it. Glasses, glasses Guy wasn't from that either, right? Uh-huh. Well, well, his clothes sure weren't. You know what? what? Now that, now that I, think I think about, about it, 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 there was something, something really fishy about him. Really? Maybe he was the suspicious outlander that I all mentioned. Could you tell us a little more about him? Sure, if you're interested. Oh, let me think. How did the conversation go again? Oh, please, mister. You can zoom in. I told you so many stories already. What are you going to help me find my baby story? Just one more story. One more, I swear. Why don't you tell me more about that ball of fire? I heard that there was a huge transparent ball of fire that used to burn 500 years ago, a thousand years ago, maybe even further back than that. Oh, meaning turn fire. That's where the ancient name Molotov comes from. Oh, wow. So it was the origin of an ancient name. That's impressive. Uh-huh. There's a story behind every ancient name. The legend goes that the turn fire first appeared in the era of the Grand Alliance. It was used by the tyrant Oats Khan to rule over that land and oppress anyone who opposed him. Turn fire is different from normal fire. If you get set on fire with it, you'll feel a horrible burning pain from behind you. But you won't die from it right away. And whatever you do, you mustn't turn back to look at it. Why? What happens if you turn back? You die. As soon as you turn around, help! Give burn to a crisp. Well, good God, Eugene. I, I mean, mean, it's, it's one, one thing, thing to, to singe someone's, someone's clothes, clothes, but burning people, people alive? alive? That is a big no-no in my book. Right? How nice is it to burn someone from behind and not even let them turn around to look? Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus,
He was he working as an ordnance officer for the Grand Alliance at the time. He didn't, he didn't like my old comrades with a cruel tyrant. So, he stole a turn and threw it at old Khan's army. The soldiers couldn't defend against it, and they all turned to ash. And that's how our ancestors set our people free. But, just as he was about to leave the city, he thought he heard old Khan calling out to him from behind. It caught him off guard, and he turned around to look. But old Khan wasn't there. All he saw was a city burned black, an army in ruins, and giant flames reaching up to the sky. A split second later, the flames he saw burst out from inside his eyes and swallowed him up. All it took was a single glance. As soon as he looked back, he was burned to a crisp. The question is, was this the price he paid for stealing the turn of fire, or the price of turning back? Nobody knows the answer, but the fire that consumed you punky burned more fiercely than any other. It burned for a hundred days until it burned a hole right through the ley lines, and then... The flame dropped into the deathly dark night kingdom. Where it still burns to this day. The grown-ups say that it lights up the path that leads to the next life. But for the dead to be reborn, they have to accept the flames and be purified by the fire first. It's like a final look back at your life, where you have to answer for everything you did. Anyway, that's the story of Punkle's turn fire. Ah, a fine parable indeed. So, is it true? Is it really possible to find this fire in the Night Kingdom? I don't know. I think it's just a story. Either way, I assume this name has been passed down in your tribe ever since. Sure has. It went to Burkina, the hero that we celebrate on Turnfire Night. But that was 500 years ago. It's Kenich now. Yeah, and now it belongs to Kenich. So we have to call him Malibu Kenich. Kenich, huh? Doesn't the legend of the turn fire teach us not to look back? Let's not go dredging up the past. Tell me more about this Kinich guy. One more story, I swear. Starting now. No? Careful, Toby. You look dangerously close to cursing me out right now. Tut, tut. We can't have that. Cursing is for grown-ups only. Oh, you better not be trying to trick us. Or the turn fire will get you when you, when you die. die! How would it get, get me if I'm outside of Natland? Uncle Glasses isn't from here, you know. Unlike, Unlike you. you. Huh? Wait. Is that... Traveler. Oh, oh my kiddos. kiddos. I'm, I'm a man, man of my word. word. And two, two of my, of my friends, friends are on their way here, here. and, uh... Yeah, they'll, they'll help, help you out on my behalf. Working, Working like, like dogs. dogs. Okay, okay that's, that's what they're, they're here, here for. for. Don't, Don't go, go easy on them just for my sake. sake. My freaking god. Really? Well, well first, first, can you tell us your name? name? We met that's at the foot of this cliff, cliff so... so the, the peaks. Let's, let's go, go with Sanka. Sanka. Oh my freaking god. Seriously? If you, if you don't, don't believe, believe me, turn, turn around and see for yourselves. They're right behind you. Huh? Where? He's an Ana Zuman. Yeah, yeah, definitely a fishy character. It sounds, it sounds like he's been digging for info about, about the ancient names. names. Yeah. yeah, and, and not, not only that, that but he betrayed, he betrayed us too. He'll, He'll pay, pay for this. this. All I thought of was some, some stories, stories though. though. What's, What's the worst that could happen? happen? Hmm. Traveler, maybe we should go tell Kenich about this. Ahal says he's investigating it, but he's a bit of a loose cannon. We probably, we probably shouldn't take him at this point. Huh? You know, you know, know Kenich? Kenich? Yeah. I'm like his friend. Um, not, not right now, now, but we, we have, have met him before, and one time, time we had a meal together. together. Oh man, I'm so, so jealous. jealous. I never, I never even spoke spoken to him. him. He's so cool. He's a historian <laughs> hunter, and he has he a has really awesome ancient name. Why does it sound like this little boy's fawning of him? Like, he's so cool. Like, Calm down, what the fuck? Me neither. 
I don't think my dad really likes him, though. He always tells me to stay away from him. Probably because of that little creep he always hangs out with. He's nasty. And he's so full of himself. Oh, the creep he calls himself a cool owl? Yeah, we've had the... Pleasure of meeting him, too. He sure loves pushing people's buttons. Exactly. I don't know why we need to partner up with him. Why didn't he pick me instead? Little girl, what the fuck? Oh, oh look at how clean it is. We've been, We've been out, out way, way too long. long. We better, better get, get home, home now. now. We'll, we'll get yelled at. So is this their, his sister? Oh, oh yikes. yikes. You're right. right. Okay, okay, well, well this is how we start our settlement. settlement. If you decide you to visit, visit remember to come to my house. house. If there's if anything, anything you need, my dad can help get it for you. Hope to see you soon. We gotta run. Bye for now. Hmm. Behind me. But I was already... I was already up there. Oh my freaking god. Guess I gotta go find it. So you know you've unlocked it once Kenich appears on that banner. Once he, once he appears on it. But that, that doesn't happen until the third part, though. And because I only got the first and second parts available, he probably won't appear for a while. Mm. Is it under me, though? No. Be up there. Time to go. Ah, uh, could be. I've been here before. Hold on. Rack room for a dream. Okay. be able to see it because it glows like red. Uh. to find it later, so I'm not going to be able to find it, and I'm wasting time. <sighs> Man, it really is hot. Oh my god. Watch your dad be like, the Trinidad. What were you thinking, thinking going, going out, out by, by yourself? yourself. Don't, Don't you, you know, know how, how dangerous, dangerous it is? It's okay! Hey, Topa helped help me! me. And we've been some kind strangers, strangers who helped us! us. And kind strangers? strangers. What, what made, made you so, so sure they were so kind? Huh? Oh, oh, I suppose, I suppose they, they had kind stranger written on their foreheads? Yeah! Actually, they did! And they made full letters! Don't, Don't talk, talk back, back to me. To me. The, mountain the mountain king problem, problem still hasn't, hasn't been solved. solved. What, what would I do if I lost, lost you too? too. No, no dinner, dinner for you, for you tonight. tonight. They were good, good people, people Dad. Dinner, dinner or no dinner. dinner. That's cruel. Oh, 
Just ask. As an, As an elder, elder of the science of the canopy, canopy I've got, got some influence, influence around here. Because I'll ask you. Now, I trust that your sense of people who know better than to take advantage of your hosts. We just happened to be passing by, so we lent her a hand. It was nothing. Yep, yep, just help her. We're not looking for anything in return. Oh, well, let's hope so. It'd be different if you're playing as Ether, because it's a little girl, and he's a... He's a boy. Wait! I heard the two mysterious travelers from afar showed up at the Stadium of the Sacred Flame. Are they you? Yeah, I'm one of them. And I'm the other. I do apologize. A lot's been going on in our tribe lately, and I suppose the pressure must be getting to me. I can't believe I'm so rude to you. I, uh, I feel shame. Uh, we got off on the wrong foot. Can we uh, start over? No. Don't you try to lick my ass now. Oh, now we're talking. Seriously, though? Don't worry about it. Oh, I forgot. We're just happy to see you and me got all the same things out. Oh, oh, just, just arrived, arrived, I take it, it. And, and, and it would be my honor to give you a hero's welcome tonight. Careful now, that's, that's quite, quite about me. me. We've we heard, heard that kind of thing with the spontaneous combustion around these parts. Save the VIB treatment. If you need a favor, let's talk. <laughs> my, my dear, dear traveler, traveler, you are very perceptive indeed. Go inside now, Pony. That's, that's got, got some important, important business to discuss. Okay, look out for Mr. Traveler and Miss Pylon. Well, this is a matter of utmost importance. Please uh, allow me to explain. For many years, our tribe has celebrated the Turnfire Night. It is a traditional ceremony among the scions of the canopy in which we remember our ancestors. Burkina and, and his, his companion, companion Kangamato, the, the Mountain King. King. Burkina was, was a hero who bore the ancient name Malipo, and Kangamato was a powerful Yungusor warrior. Together, they fought against the Abyss. I see that. They were victorious, but it came at a great cost. Burkina paid with his life. The Mountain King survived. But was contaminated by the abyss, and he remains in hibernation to this day. Normally, Yumkasaurs never live longer than a century. It is possible that the abyssal power is responsible for his unnaturally long lifespan. Wait, so he's still alive after 500 years? Oh, that's right. The Mountain King is a living symbol of our glory, but even this glory comes at a price. The abyssal power inside him is highly sensitive, and when it is disturbed, he awakens and flies into a blind rage, attacking anything that moves. So, besides the ceremony, another important part of Turnfire Night each year is cleansing the abyssal power inside the Mountain King, so that he will remain, remain sound asleep. asleep. However, However abyss-related incidents have, have been on the rise in that land lately, as, as I'm sure you're both aware. Mm -hmm. as, a as a result, it has become, become increasingly difficult to keep the Mountain King in hibernation. hibernation. Only, Only five, five months, months have passed since the last turn fight. He's already, already shown signs, signs of instability. Is he woken up again? He has. We managed to contain the situation by performing a makeshift ceremony right away, but it was a close call. He could reawaken at any moment. Also, he attacked and wounded my companion, Nana, during the ceremony. She became contaminated by the abyss as a result, and... The little girl said she threw herself off a cliff. We heard such a tragedy. We're really sorry for your loss. But she has three yes, children. Nana wasn't the first. Anyway... Right, right now, now we're preparing, preparing for an, an exceptional, exceptional turn fire, fire night ceremony. And we, we need, need to find a suitable flame bearer. From what I've heard about your adventures, 
I believe you would be perfect for the role. Don't you already have a flame barrier in your tribe? Isn't Kanich? Of course. Plus, he's a bona fide hero who inherited the Maliko name. Oh, you mean Kanish? Yes, he's the one. A hero worth his weight in gold. And fortunately for us, he's all too aware of that. No prizes for guessing what he said when I asked him to host a turn fire night outside of the annual schedule. An exceptional ceremony? Oh, I'll charge an exceptional prize. I swear, no other concept exists in that boy's brain. At least he's predictable. Fork over the Mora and he's all yours. I'm not, I'm not the one, the one to usually, usually talk, talk about, about people, people behind their, their backs, backs. But, but I'm convinced, convinced the why I've got, got hit on the head and took a wrong turn the day it chose to give that ancient name to him. I mean, have you ever heard, heard of a hero whose, whose mantra is, is what's your, your asking, asking price? price? I said that as a joke, but I probably should have, should have said, sound like a warrior to me, because now it seems like I'm talking about him too. Oh, oh and don't, don't get me get started, started on that insufferable how he hangs around with. Thinks he's God's gift to mankind. Anyway, the fact is, the ceremony can just as easily be done without him as long as we can find someone else. And besides, you two seem like much better candidates. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think? Just tell me what I need to do next, what's in it for me. Why don't I try to talk some sense into Kanich for you? Hmm... I don't know what to say. All right, you know what? Just tell me what I need to do. I have the power of purification, so it seems like I have to do this. Besides, it's my promise to the Pyro Archon that I would help this nation, so I'll do it. Wonderful! I can't, I can't thank, thank you, you enough. enough. Who was, was right, right about, about you? you? You have kindness in your hearts. hearts. It's my promise to the Pyro Archon. How could I not? Come, Come with, with me, me to the other the side, side of the mountain. mountain. I'll bring, I'll bring you up to speed, speed on each step, step of the ceremony. ceremony. Experienced, Experienced warriors, warriors. I'm, I'm sure, sure you'll pick it up, it up in no time. time. Hmm. Besides, you don't make Kenesha look like an asshole. <laughs> like, I'm gonna save your tribe for you because you won't do it. Now you owe me. See what I did there? Now he's gonna have to owe me. Hmm. Oh, great Kukum Ahau. Bless you. Oh my god. Shut your filthy mouth, worm of the abyss. Your putrid words defile the air you breathe. You may be all my dragon lord, Kukum Ahau. Sick to the stomach. I just remembered. The abyss lectors have human forms and have been able to transform into these human forms throughout the whole game's story. I think I now understand. This guy, this Sanka, he's an abyss lector. Speaking as a member of the abyss board, that's uh -huh. music to my uh -huh. ears. Exactly the kind of reaction we're going for. But on a personal level, I gotta say, it's pretty hard. I told you, speaking as a member of the Abyss, I told you, he's a fucking Abyss lector. They all look like that. Ugh, never, never have we heard, heard such brave blustering from, from someone who is inches from death. Up your door, boy! We spit in your face! face. Okay, well, well that I have any laws to explain. How, How do, do I manage to stay so churry and cheerful? I can only guess it's some kind of powerful magic, but I digress. Mr. Kinich, I admit it. You, sir, are a legendary hunter. Still, the only reason you caught me is that I was reluctant to run away. You were just so beautiful, I had to stop and stare at you. You see, I'm very interested in the lore of your tribe. Told you. He's a bis lector sent to gather information, so he's, he's feigning ignorance. K. <laughs> K. Is that, is that it? it? K? K? Aren't, Aren't you intrigued, intrigged to know what it is, is about you guys, guys that prompted, prompted a visit, visit from, from the, the abyss? abyss? I told you he's a abyss lector. He's admitting it. It's the extreme sports. The other day, I narrowly avoided getting hit by a very brave soul who just leaped off a cliff. I think you call it 
bungee jumping? Anyway, I was very impressed. That is what I call embracing the spirit of adventure. Look, I even did a painting inspired by the bravery and freedom of the scions of the canopy. You scum-sucking swine! I swear, if you go bungee jumping, it'll go without a rope! Head first off the top of the cliff! We'll land on your tail! And no more little run! And a ball of assessment waiting for you on the ground! You say that, but I get the sense that Mr. Kingich isn't planning to take my life right now. On top of that, I'm tired of spying on you from afar. So why don't we just negotiate a comfortable operating distance that works for both of us? I've heard that the most important thing in human relationships is to respect each other's boundaries. What do you say, Mr. Kimmich? <laughs> or you can tell me what it is you're really after. What? Yeah. And then I'll know my price. Uh... That seems kind of daunting. He's like bargaining with somebody who's really from the abyss. That guy's an abyss lector because they all look stupid like that. Like, look at me, an Azuman man. They all look like that. The abyss lectors have human forms and they all look like ordinary fucking people. Ugh, ugh. Still, though, to think that Kanish would really want to help them kind of makes me unsure. Like... That actually kind of bothers me. To think that he would... Well, I guess I can't judge him until I know the full story, right? Hmm... <laughs> Why would you... what? <laughs> Uh, the abyss contamination is back. No surprises there. No doubt that explains the Mountain King's recent activity. I can purify that for you. See those torches over there? Those are the Sacred Flame offshoots that we requested from the Stadium of the Sacred Flame. They contain the power of the Pyro Archon. Uh-huh. Are you saying that the Sacred Flame and the Turnfire are the same thing? Well, for ceremonial purposes, at least. Sending someone to the Night Kingdom to retrieve the legendary Turnfire isn't exactly an option. More to the point though, the Sacred Flame is able to burn away Abyssal's filth, so that's why we use it in the ceremony. Gotcha! So basically we just need to clean up the filth with the Sacred Flame! Well, that's one part of it, yes. But the complete ceremony is a bit more complicated than that. First, the Flame Bearer must collect a kindling of the Sacred Flame from the starting point. Then use, then use a grappling hook to fly up into the sky and light each, each of the sacred flame pillars. pillars. Then, then they, they must go down into the canyon, all the way into the, way into the cave, cave where, where the mountain king slumbers, lighting braziers and the final altar, altar along the way. The, the most skilled flame bearers, bearers can accomplish all of this without touching the ground once. As much as I hate to admit it, Ganesh is capable of this. So can you, Paimon. Well, don't worry. It's, it's not, not a requirement, requirement of the ceremony. ceremony. You're, you're allowed, allowed to touch, to touch the, ground. the ground. The only, the only thing you're, you're not, not allowed, allowed to do is turn back. That's what that little girl said. The flame bearer, the flame bearer must always keep moving forward. forward. You can't, you can't skip, skip a pillar and come, and come back, back to it after lighting the next one. To do so would be to disrespect our ancestors. So, what actually I have to do you turn back? Surely the fires don't just go out. Um, well, uh, if you're not careful, you might get burned. What about today? Does the same rule apply? Oh, no, no. Don't worry. Today is just a practice. The order doesn't matter. You just need to take the sacred flame, cleanse the filth, then go light all the braziers. Are you ready? Yeah. I'll repeat all the key points again. Gather, gather the kindling, the kindling cleanse, cleanse the filth, the filth and, and light all the braziers. I'll, I'll wait, wait for you at the end. end. Okay. Alright, smaller flames split into the stadium sacred flame. Intended for the turn fire night ritual conducted by the signs of the canopy, they contain a best power that dispels the darkness. Interact with the lit braziers to obtain the sacred flame's protection, then collect and throw flame grants. Flame granites, like pomegranate. 
to cause explosions that will scatter the abyss power. Under the protection of the sacred flame, you can approach an unlit brazier to ignite it. Yeah, alright. Seems like I don't have a freaking choice. Let's use this 